Grisha here for this Ghostbusters anticipation video. Now, this movie has been through hell as far as the marketing goes, as far as all this other stuff goes. You know, it's just they've gone through one thing after one roadblock after another since Ghostbusters 2 in 1989, 1990, or whatever. So, but they're finally redoing Ghostbusters. It, yes, it's a reboot of the franchise, but they're not rebooting the characters of uh, Peter Venkman, Ray Stantz, Egon Spangler, and Winston Zeddemore, and Dana Barrett, and even um, Louis Tully. You know, they're, they're not rebooting, like a true reboot. They're restarting the franchise with a brand new thing, an all-female cast, and I really like that. Me, personally, I like it. Now... I could be dead wrong. I could think this could turn out horrible. But the critic reviews have been coming out recently in the past 24 hours, maybe 48 hours, saying it currently holds a 78% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is not bad at all, guys. It's not bad at all. It's really good. And Metacritic on IMDb is a 60% last time I checked. That was a two or three hours ago. It currently stands at a 60%. And one, like HitFix gave it a 91. Hollywood Reporter gave it a 40. But it's nowhere near like a zero or like a, or like a 20. You know, it's, it, it's above, four, it's 40 or above. So it's either the yellow or the green. That to me shows, okay, this movie is pretty good, but there are problems to it. Now, we don't know that until the movie comes out, obviously. But truth be told, I really do think that this movie if you just go see it check it out give it a shot you may like it because there's some people that are very sexist about it um they're saying i don't like the female cast well you don't know how the female cast is going to do unless you go see the movie you know there's that oh yeah well well uh the rebooting ghostbusters so what they're gonna they they might as well reboot anyways ghostbusters 3 was never gonna happen like Bill Murray and was never going to come back for a third film. Harold Ramis passed away a few years ago. Dan Aykroyd has been preaching. It was a big mess. So they said, you know what? Let's clean the slate and let's just completely start over with brand new characters and a fresh new take with the female cast. Some of the funniest actresses in Hollywood, M Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, um, Kate McKinnon, and Leslie Jones, they're all, f a few of them from Saturday Night Live. We all love... Um, what did I, I just said her name? Um, Tammy. Melissa McCarthy. We all love her. She's hysterical, you know? And Paul Feig is a comedy director. He, he wrote and directed Bridesmaids, which I have seen, yes. It's actually very funny, not going to lie. Um, not only that, but I, he, uh, The Heat, I did not see The Heat. I saw Bridesmaids, though, because I have, I have friends who are girls, yes, and that may be hard to believe for some of you people. But yes, so I saw it with them, and I really had a good time watching it. I could see his take on a funny property. And this is a comedy. Let's not forget, Ghostbusters was not only a comedy and a sci-fi film, but it was also a horror film. It was like th those three put together, as well as a great, fun movie. It, had, it gained a cult following for, you know, you know, it had so much going for it. I'm going to touch on this for a sec because it's not necessarily bothering me, but it's just, it's there type thing. So the user ratings for IMDB have come out and people are dropping it so low. It has like a three or a four last I checked on IMDB for the user ratings. The difference is, I found this out a little while ago, so I want to let, put this out for you guys who use IMDB. The number, like the 7.5 or the 9.3... That's the user, meaning the viewer who has seen the movie, not the critic. The viewer that has seen the movie, it, millions of people did that and it averaged out to that number. Now, not a lot of people have seen this movie already. Obviously, the, 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 there's an embargo. The embargo got lifted. A bunch of people saw it already. Ghostbusters fans actually really enjoyed it. That's a big plus right there, personally. And all this other stuff. So, there's that. The IMDb rating is really low, but the critic rating is really good for what it is. I just wanted to touch on that so you guys know what I'm talking about. So the number is the users and the critic rating is to your right if you're using on the mobile and the same thing. So it has like a, like a, like a, like a, a 60 on Metacritic. That's a bunch of critics put together. If you go to Rotten Tomatoes, it's a different story. It's like in the 70s. 
which is not bad. That means it's a good, at least in my opinion, it's a good plus movie. It, 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 it's not great, but I, I think it will be good. Uh, you, uh, my friend guest starred on the show a little while ago, Andrew Schultz. He did the 24-hour marathon with us. Uh, he is hesitant to go see this movie just because of its, you know, what's surrounding it. I'm going to go see it because I, no, number one, I'm a Ghostbusters fan, so I might as well go see it. But number two is because I want to see what they've done with the franchise and give it a shot. I don't, I, look, I get that there's so much hate out there for this movie. The trailer is the most disliked movie trailer on YouTube's history. So, yeah, you can see why people are upset because you're touching my childhood. Yeah, go give it a shot and then see if it actually touched your childhood. That's what I want. That's what I say to whoever says that. I mean, I, look, there's no defending it until we see the movie, but just so you know, I really am super, I am very excited to go see this movie, and there will be a spoilers review of it, so look, my message to, you, to my, my viewers and my fans is to go see a movie, even if it has the, like, go see a movie if it has the absolute worst, crappiest stuff to it, okay? Like, the trailers are horrible, go see it. Like, because that's what a lot of people do. They'll go see, they'll just, they love seeing movies. But if it's good or bad, they interpret it as they will. But don't judge something before it comes out. That's, that's at least my, my side of it. Um, I really hope that you guys take what I say for, at least for granted. And hopefully you guys could do it. So please go support Ghostbusters. As crazy that may sound for some people, go support it. Because I am actually, I, it, it can be good. I think it's going to be good. Just when the critics do come out, for, forget the users. Cause some, I, sometimes IMDb, at least in my opinion, has trolls. Like the, people just put like a random number in there, like, oh, you know, you know, stuff like that. But anyways, I digress. For the, so this is in it. This has been in your an anticipation video for Ghostbusters 2016. I, there's going to be a spoilers review, and I'm going to see if I can drag my my friend Andrew out to go see it with me, and we can come back and do a review of it. And Hopefully, the the opinions will be not corrected, but just like you know, you, you like not, it's not like you're wrong, but just like this is different. This is what it is, and you just gotta let it be. Yeah, people are still gonna hate on it still, but you just gotta give it a shot. That's all I'm saying. Give it a shot. So, anyways, I've gone on and on about this, but yes. So this has been my anticipation video for Ghostbusters. If you like what you see here, subscribe to the Super View Show, share this video with all your friends, and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But for all your Ghostbusters and anticipation videos, keep it locked on the Super Review Show. J-Man, off to work. Who are you going to call? I'll see you guys after the review.